College is well known for training students to become professionals in their field, but for 36 colleges and over 15,000 students in one field, there is an unpleasant new trend in the hiring process. Students at the University of North Dakota's School of Air Traffic Control are gearing up for another day of class. But for Allison DeJoy, who is set to graduate in August, it's been hard to land her first job. I had a headache after. It was a lot of thinking about, am I answering this right? What are they going to think? Are they going to want me? Are they going to pick somebody else? Yeah, it was really frustrating. In the past few years, the FAA has received harsh feedback about its new air traffic controller hiring process. The agency no longer requires a college degree. A school in Minneapolis recently shut down its ATC division due to a lack of demand. The, uh, all 44 of their students basically dropped the program and the uh, staff was, will be terminated as of next year. The mandatory biographical test has changed too. And it's basically a psychology, it's a psycho, psychological test. Uh, you, you answer some questions that uh, put a smile on your face and some of them, uh, you're inquisitive going, why are you even asking that? The assessment has made it easier for people without any experience to get hired. Air traffic control jobs have changed to an entry-level position and students are walking away as a result. Experts speculate the change in testing was made to increase diversity amongst candidates, but even then, it's only speculation. We can't turn the clock back. We'd, we, we'd like to. Uh, we'd like to get more answers. We've asked for them as a college. We've asked for them through our legislative uh, committees. It's, it's out of our hands. We're hoping that the, uh, the FA will take another look this year and continue to fine-tune this biographical assessment. For now, Allison is working on perfecting her craft for the next exam. It's really discouraging when you know that you go to school every day and you're working so hard at something that you really like and you know that I might not have a job by the time I become 31. For ATC students like Allison, the future is up in the air. The FAA stresses that the biographical test, which emphasizes cognitive skills and abilities, is an adequate assessment before further training takes place.